Good morning, Unstoppable Writers. Great to see you. Today we're gonna to be talking um, kind of the third lesson on writing success. How do we define it? What does it mean to you? In the past, we've talked about how quanti putting quantity over quality, and so really trusting that as we write more and read more that our writing will improve instead of getting hung up on creating a perfect piece um, or getting everything right the first time, knowing that as we continue outputting work, our craft will improve. We also spent one of our last lessons on moving from external rewards, so from maybe how many followers you have or how many book reviews you have or how many books you've sold, moving from those external rewards to really focusing on internal rewards, things that we can control and using those to measure our success and stay motivated. And today we're gonna wrap up this mini series on what is writing success, how to define writing success. And today I wanna to talk to you about being um, performance driven or having a performance mindset versus having a growth mindset. And this is really pivotal because as writers, it's so easy to um, have a performance mindset, which is where we basically focus on like very specific goals and they're either we make it or we don't make it. We either perform at that level or we don't. It's like a all or nothing kind of mentality, having a performance mindset versus when we have a growth mindset, it really allows us to focus on the journey, to have more fun in the process and to always be asking that question what can I learn from this? How can I grow from this? And what I love about what happens when we shift from the performance mindset of all or nothing, win or lose, when we shift from that to the growth mindset is it allows us to take both success and failure and learn from them. It allows us to, instead of getting hung up on how we performed or if the exact result was achieved, we get to move to thinking about, you know, how did I show up in this process? What did I learn from this? Um, whether it's a social post that you do, a marketing campaign, a book launch, you know, what can I learn from that? And a growth mindset can serve us regardless of whether we're quote unquote successful or whether we're quote unquote you know, learning and becoming successful. And so I wanted to share that with you because I know in my own writing journey that the moment I switched to really embrace the growth mindset, there was so much more peace, there was so much more um, like control and power that I felt because I was no longer focusing on, I have to get this very specific result, you know, which is often like, um, having like a very specific target that's small and then anything outside of that small target is a miss. It went from that to really seeing the breadth of my journey, the breadth of what I was learning, the breadth of how I was growing. And so um, I wanted to share that with you today because the more we can embrace as writers this growth mentality and taking time to look at what we're doing and what's working, what's not working, you know, how we can grow from it, what we can learn from it, the more intentional and aware we can be in really doing things that um, are not only enjoyable, but that move us forward faster, rather than getting hung up on performance perfection um, and trying to get everything to always hit this very small um, mark that we may or may not hit. And so I wanted to encourage you with that. And I do have kind of a fun action for you as we um, just finished Thanksgiving last week for those of us in the US. And we're heading into the Christmas season, the busy season. This is an easy time for us um, to stop writing because we're so busy. So next week I'll be talking about how to keep writing even during the holidays. Um, and I have some fun tips for that. But it's so easy during this time to start feeling kind of rushed and scattered and a lot of us are thinking about money and buying gifts for people and 
So it's easy to fall into this scarcity mentality, but I just want to encourage you as we head into this weekend before, you know, we get into the real rush of the holidays um, to just take some time and reflect on your writing journey, reflect on how you have grown, what you have learned, you know, those tools that you have gained this year that you now get to take into the new year. Um, this is a practice that we did in uh, my paid membership, The Collective, and it was amazing to hear um, what people came away with. And I had other questions for them as well. You know, we did this in-depth practice of looking at our journey, but for you, just the simple question, you know, what have you learned? How have you grown this year that you can take into next year? And that will help shift you from the performance mindset of all or nothing, you know, I either win or I lose, moving more into, you know, what can I learn? How am I growing? What's my next step? Um, because that's really where we become unstoppable and that's where the momentum will just continue to build. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, if you are here live, go ahead and put here. If you're watching the replay, type replay. And I can't wait to see you embrace a growth mindset and have so much more fun writing um, and moving forward. Talk to you soon.